this video is created by jagrat creation it's for students who are reading for inter c ipcc it is also for those students who are reading for corporate accounting in for graduation become graduate for commerce graduation video is also useful for the professional courses like cs executive and icwa who has absorption of company as a part of their syllabus i want to solve one sum that's on absorption of company just observe the sum on the screen just read it pause the video and read it now let me start following are the balance sheets of urvi limited and purvi limited as on 31 2016 equity share reserve secured loan and secured loan creditors bills payable goodwill factory share government owned investment stock debtors cash and bank balance bills receivable are given to you on 31st of march 2016 purvi limited agreed to absorb purvi limited on the following conditions debtors of purvi limited include 25000 due from purvi limited so debtors of purvi are the creditors of purvi after absorption debtors of purvi and debtors of purvi creditors of purvi and creditors of purvi will will be merging and this debtors of purvi include 25000 due from purvi then after absorption what will happen i will have a claim of 25000 from myself and i will have an obligation to pay myself 25000 and that 25000 right and obligation will appear in the balance sheet on both the sides one on asset side in debtors and second on liability side in creditors and it is not fair to write a claim against write a claim against me and write a obligation from me so i cannot have for claim and obligation there should be minimum 2 person so in a uh, in a unilateral situation there cannot be claim i cannot have a claim against me i cannot have an obligation to me so that is to be mutual indebtedness is to be cancelled so from from the total of debtors and total of creditors this 25000 will be removed that is known as mutual indebtedness that will be cancelled same way bills payable for 20000 of purvi limited are drawn on purvi limited so bills receivable and bills payable will be merged together in a balance sheet after absorption and that is a mutual indebtedness as explained to you for debtors and creditors so the total of bills receivable and bills payable 20000 will be deducted from asset side and liability side in a balance sheet that we may prepare after absorption of a company shareholders of purvi limited are to be given seven shares in purvi limited in exchange of every 10 shares held by them on the basis of intrinsic value as per the balance sheet so shareholders of the urvi limited are to be given seven shares in purvi limited in exchange of 10 shares held by them on the basis of intrinsic value in the balance sheet this is a very important point now on the basis of intrinsic value so we are required to find out the intrinsic value of a share of a purchaser and total purchase price of the vendor is to be paid by giving the shares of a purchaser at its intrinsic value so we are required to work out the intrinsic value of the share of a purchaser and that value will be considered for the purpose of making the payment for purchase price of the vendor the face value of the shares of purvi limited 100 each but 50 per share is paid up very important whereas the face value of the share of purvi limited is 100 40 per share paid up on the basis of information given above write journal entries in the books of purvi limited and prepare the balance sheet after purchasing this stock now for this sum there is no revaluation of assets one all the shareholders of vendor are going to be the shareholders of the purchaser see purvi is the vendor Purvi Limited agreed to absorb Purvi Limited, so Purvi Limited is a vendor. Purvi is the purchaser. So all the shareholders of Purvi Limited will become the shareholders of Purvi Limited. There is no revaluation of assets and liabilities. 
we presume that the business of vendor will be continued after amalgamation. So we can account, we can go for accounting of this sum on the basis of pulling of interest or the amalgamation, the nature of merger that we can do. So this sum can be solved or should be solved by the method of amalgamation in the nature of merger by pulling of interest as prescribed as per AS 40. But I am going to solve this sum by amalgamation in the nature of purchase. And I will explain to you how the balance sheet, if you prepare as per amalgamation in the nature of merger and the amalgamation as per the, in the nature of purchase, if both the type for this sum, balance sheet is going to be same that I am going to explain to you. Now, first let me start with the working. Here I am going to prepare a working note for what is purchased. Net assets are going to be recorded here. Here the payment made will, made will be recorded at an intrinsic value. Let me start with the sum. Now, this is the balance sheet. Now, shareholders of Purvi Limited are given 7 shares in Purvi Limited in exchange of 10 shares held by them on the basis of intrinsic value as per balance sheet. Now, we are required to find out the intrinsic value for the purpose of finding out the exchange. Find the intrinsic value for both the companies. Urvi Limited, Vendor, Goodwill, Shade, Investment in Gujarat Government Loan, Stock, Letters, Cash and Bank Balance, Bills Receivable, Secured Loan, Unsecured on liabilities deducted, creditors bills payable. So this is the total of assets minus liabilities. This is the purchase price. This purchase price has to be paid. Now, how the number of shares of would be limited? Would be limited? This is the net assets of would be limited or this is the purchase price of would be limited? Now, the face value of the share of Hurvi Limited is 100 on which 50 per share is paid up. So 18 lakhs divided by 50 you will get the number of shares. And if you want to find out the intrinsic value of share, purchase price divided by number of shares, net assets divided by number of shares, that works out to be rupees 70 per share. So this is the intrinsic value of the vendor. This is the one intrinsic value I have worked out. Now I want to work out the intrinsic value of Purvi Limited purchaser. So what are the number of shares of Purvi Limited? Purvi Limited share of 100 each on with 40 per share is paid up. So for Purvi Limited 14 like 40,000 divided by 40 rupees. So these are the number of shares in the books of purchaser. So purchasers have got 36,000 shares. Now I want to find out the intrinsic value for this purchaser. So let me work out the net assets divided by number of shares. Let me work out the net assets. Goodwill, factory share, Gujarat government loan, plus stock, plus debtors, plus cash and bank balance, plus bills receivable, total of assets, minus liability secured loan, unsecured loan, creditors, Bills payable, this is the net assets. Net assets divided by number of shares. So, this is the intrinsic value is 100 per share. Now you are given the exchange ratio, which matches with this one. So, Number of shares to be issued, it should be 25 lakh 20,000 divided by 100, there is a mistake. So if you work it out, that should that should be 25,200. So here there is a mistake, 25 lakh 20,000 should be there, I am sorry. Now, paid up value is 40, intrinsic value 100, 100 minus 40, so 60 is the security premium. 
now 7 shares into 100 each, 10 shares into 70 each, so no cash is required to be paid, so this is how the purchase price is paid. I have prepared a purchase consideration statement, purchase price and the payment is worked out on the basis of intrinsic value. The exchange ratio exactly matches with the intrinsic value. That's an important point of this sum. Now after recording all these things, I want to prepare the balance sheet. You know that I have prepared, I am going to prepare the balance sheet as per the amalgamation the nature of purchase. Now see. Urvi Limited is a vendor. The net assets of Urvi Limited 18 plus 7, 25 lakh 20,000, 25 lakh 20,000 is paid. If you solve this sum by the method of amalgamation, the nature of merger, you are required to find the number of shares given in exchange were 25 lakh 20,000 against the share of 18 lakh. So 25 lakh 20,000 is the equity share value given, equity share value of the purchaser given to the vendor and the face value of the vendor share is 18 lakhs. So 25 lakh 20,000 minus 18 lakhs, 7 lakh 20,000 is the excess payment made. That excess payment has to be adjusted against the reserves. So here 7 lakh 20,000 is the reserve. So excess payment made to the equity shareholders will be adjusted against revenue reserves. So this 720,000 excess payment made will be spared against this reserve 720,000. So if you solve this sum by amalgamation the nature of merger or even by amalgamation the nature of purchase, the balance sheet is going to be same. That's an important point that one should notice that you may not find in all sums. Now I want to prepare a balance sheet, notes on accounts. These are the titles in the notes. First, intangible assets, goodwill. Factory share, tangible assets. Non-current investment, Gujarat government loan. Stock. Under the title of inventories. Trade receivable debtors and creditors. The mutual indebtedness this 25,000 will be deducted from both, so minus 25,000 mutual debts, so this is the net amount that will appear for creditors and debtors in my balance sheet. Now cash and cash equivalents, cash and cash balance, bank balance, bills receivable and bills payable, mutual indebtedness 20,000 will be deducted from bills receivable and bills payable, so this net amount will appear in the balance sheet, this is how this entry is to, this is to be considered. Now, equity share capital, share of 40 each, security premium, reserves and surplus of Purvi, secured loan total, unsecured loan, creditors and bills payable is already considered. So these are the notes on accounts. Now I want to prepare the balance sheet. These are the titles in which the balance sheet is required to be reported. You know these titles very well. Shareholders fund share capital reserves and surplus. Non-current liabilities, current liabilities, non-current assets, current assets, they are the main titles. Equity share, share of 40 each. Security premium and general reserve, reserves and surplus. Then comes secured loan and unsecured loan in long term borrowings. Trade payables, creditors and bills payable will go in trade payables. Tangible assets, factory share, goodwill intangible assets, Gujarat government loan, non current investment. Stock will go in inventories. Trade receivables, debtors and bills receivable, cash and bank balance, cash and cash equivalents. Have a total of equity and liabilities. And same we have a total of assets. This is how the balance sheet agrees. Now for this sum I want to write down the journal entries. Business purchase account debit to liquidator of Urvi Limited. 
being business of Hurvi Limited purchased. Now what has been purchased in business? Goodwill account debit, factory shared account debit, Gujarat government loan account debit, stock account debit, debtors account debit, cash and bank balance account debit, bills receivable account debit, to secure loan account credit, to unsecured loan account credit, to creditors, to bills payable, to business purchase. Being assets and liabilities of Hurvi Limited taken over. Now payment to be made. Urvi, liquidator of Hurvi Limited account debit to equity share capital to security premium. Being purchased consideration paid to the liquidator of Urvi Limited. Now mutual indebtedness is to be cancelled. For cancellation of debtors and creditors, both decline. So creditors account debit to debtors account credit 25,000. Similarly, bills payable and bills receivable are to both decreases. So bills payable account debit and bills receivable account credit 20,000. These are the entries for mutual indebtedness cancelled. This is how the journal entries are recorded in the books of purchaser. Now, I have already recorded journal entries, prepare balance sheet and everything for you. I feel that you have followed this sum. Thanks to all of you.